Hello world. I clearly am going to need some headphones if I plan on doing this. So, maybe if you guys will bear with me and hopefully this doesn't narf the entire vloggity vloggity vloggity, it'd be great. I'm sorry if I look like shit. I'm sorry if I don't really seem to give a fuck. Bam. I am sorry if I pretty much am lacking right now. So let's see. It is 10.41 at night. It is March 5th, 2012. You know, this is my supposedly lucky month. My birthday is in 20, 24, 23 days, whatever. And let's go in, shall we? Let's see. On a positive note, I recorded my Mad Beast 29 videos. Mad Beast Volume 4 has 32 views, and it hasn't even been up for 11 hours. It hasn't. So that's a huge thumbs up because people are actually viewing it because people have said that it is so hard to use Jill when she goes into Mad Beast mode and all the other wonderful shit. And while I concur, it's a kind of annoying. It's not difficult. It's just annoying because you have to be really precise with how you time those moves. But once you get the hang of it, Dark Jill is a fucking boss. She may not be as strong as Wesker, but what she lacks in initial strength, she clearly makes up for in speed. When you pop that X Factor and you just start slapping that motherfucker and you start pulling Wesker-like moves, oh yeah. Anywho, that's been the highlight of my day where I uploaded some YouTube videos to my main channel, Nightmare Lord. So let's see, today was, today wasn't all that bad until I left school, let's see. Today, social class was pretty, man, she gave us pretty much some freebies on our midterm, which is kind of nice. Because I'm going to need those freebies hard as fuck now. Because I'm probably, I'm, I'm going to have to crank all that shit out by tomorrow. So whatever I, have, I do after English, I'm going to have to just do, um, pretty much it's midterms week. The two weeks that we get for midterms and spring break and then whatever else. So pretty much I come home from school. I finally arrive at this fucking place at about six six fifteen, six twenty ish, something like that. And I'm like, okay. And I walk down the street as I get up to the fucking door, what do I see? A brand new shiny gold locks on the door. Clearly my keys aren't gonna go into those. So I'm thinking to myself I guess it's a good thing I bought an extra black and mild because I'm showing sure up gonna need it. That mouth was gone. I didn't even get in the house and the mouth was fucking gone. So long story short, douchebaggery over there. Finally got the lame ass landlord to come and change the um locks on the door. My thing is, it's common fucking knowledge that you can't just evict a person like that because if it was like that, he would have evicted people from upstairs and evicted the people who moved in after them, the people who moved in the back after them, just like that. If you could just walk up all willy-nilly and change the fucking locks. But this motherfucker didn't seem to understand that, so I had to have the police come and tell her. So let's entertain some interesting facts. One interesting fact, I should have had my damn iPod out. I should have been recording the entire thing. I don't know why my, my brain just goes blank when all this shit's going on. Maybe it's because of stress, and I'm trying not to go into Mad Beast my fucking self. You mean, you see the teeth. Mad Beast is there. It's just, I'm not my father. And that's a different story. But, um, pretty much, police had to come out and set her ass straight. She's like, oh, I'm going to evict him tomorrow. I guess the police would be right the fuck back out here telling you, hey, motherfucker, we're, we don't want to keep coming back out here for your dumb shit. Because it is against the law and or illegal to evict someone without a proper, um, I don't know what's the word, what's the word, what's the word, what's the word, notary or what the fuck ever you want to call it. So I guess if she wants to evict, she's going to have to go down to the courts and pony up some money. But the interesting thing of the night is I should have really been recording the, the, the policeman's behavior towards after their behavior after speaking to my mom for like 10 minutes 
uh, know that it's not just me. And she's like, oh, I, I, I care everything she was saying through the fucking window. She's like, oh, he will talk to everyone but me, blah, 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 blah. Why would I talk to someone who is incapable of listening? The policeman found this out today because what do you know? They decided to actually walk and come talk to me. And one guy was like, I see why your son doesn't talk to you. I mean, he literally said that shit. I see why your son does not talk to you. That would have been a fucking epic YouTube video to post. Like, hey, guys, it's not just me. <laughs> But I wasn't thinking about that. But anyway, he was like talking to me, giving me suggestions and stuff. I'm like, dude, I'm way ahead of you and all that shit. But he actually, he actually said something that kind of caught me off guard. Where he said, maybe she had her mom committed. Maybe she forced some sort of psych eval on her. Because, yeah, I mean, if a psychologist sits down with my mom and have the same, even close to what I know about psychology, which they probably know more than me. Because I don't really care about the whole childhood part. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. But anyway, if, if they know anything along the level of just the textbook stuff, they would just listen to her talk for like five seconds and be like, yeah, she needs to be fucking slapped in the fucking big house. And, and I don't know if you guys can hear, but she's like mumbling something. I have headphones in my ears, so I can't hear her. I mean, this is just the same typical routine of every time I record a video. I put headphones in, so I mean, if she's got something she wants to say, she's going to have to say it to herself, because I honestly don't care. But anywho, the guy said to me, maybe I should think about having her committed. But the, what, what really made me laugh inside was when he said, I see why your son does not talk to you. And she clearly blocked that out. <laughs> That is the the highlight of my night because it's not just me. It's like everyone who enters the picture for longer than five minutes would just go, oh, wait, what? You call that a personality? I'm I'm surprised she wasn't saying, oh, white guy, this white guy. Oh, I guess it's because they're in a position of authority that she can't pull the prejudice card. Hmm. I mean, you piss off the wrong person. They're going to be like, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to lock your ass up. So you can call me white all you want. Uh, she didn't pull a prejudice car while they were there. Interesting. Hmm. Anywho, that was the highlight of my day when the policeman said, and I quote, I see why your son does not talk to you. Oh, that would have been so great to have recorded. Because then I could have posted it for Sway to see. Like, yo, policeman just came to the house and listened to what they had to say to mom. This is why your son does not talk to you. Because you don't listen, because you just belligerently babble on about ignorant shit. And you think you know something and you don't. Oh, it's not, it's not, it's not illegal to lock someone out of their domain. Really? I mean, you watch more Judge Masters than I do. Because I'm barely here. I don't give a fuck about a TV. But yet, you sit around and you watch court TV shows all day, but you don't take any of it in. Okay, you just watch to bitch about the person's ethnicity oh it's another whitey that's I mean that's the only thing shit she says it's another whitey it's another whitey me i get the black people i mean black people don't do shit except for argue bitch cuss and do dumb dumbness i mean that's not entertaining after a while it gets old it gets old really fucking quick but at the end of the day i'm the bad guy once again because i had to call the police because it was in my best interest because it needs to be on a file that I'm the one who spoke up. Because this motherfucker's always trying to ruin a person's life and shit. Say, oh, I'm going to call the police on you for this and that, this and that. Well, now the shoe's on the other foot, huh? I got to call the fucking police and say, hey, guys. I'm a nice, civil person. I'm a college student. I pretty much, I'm only here to eat and sleep for the most part. I mean, the majority of the week, I'm not here. I leave at like 6, 7, anywhere from 5 something to 7 something in the morning. I don't get back to like anywhere from the earliest. It's like 3 to anywhere to like 9, 10, 11, 12 o'clock at night. This motherfucker even tells him, oh, he stays out for nights at a time, this, that, this, that. What the fuck do you think college is? It's like she thinks I'm in fucking middle school or something. Or I, I can't go to, like, study parties. I can't go to study with friends. I can't go to try and make something of myself. It's always, I got to fall into this typical 
black person stereotype or I'm either out there doing something illegal or something stupid. But yet, oh, get that whitey off the TV. I mean, really? If I had a choice, I would choose to change my skin color. I mean, we could change this shit by choice. I would not be black anymore because it's overrated. I already got the one cool thing that comes from being black, rhythm. I can dance, fuckers. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's pretty much been my day. I'm kind of mad at myself for not having the iPod out. And Rebecca still didn't ask me a goddamn question. I asked her one fucking question, yo. When the fuck are you with K&G? Because I want to come and abuse your discount. And can't even get an answer to that. On another note, I don't know what to say about Julian or the entire situation. From what I heard is I can't date you because you're black. Another reason I, should, I would really like, like to change the color of my skin. Because dating women in general is like pulling wisdom teeth. It's such a chore. It hurts like a motherfucker. And it would be a hell of a lot easier if I was either rich or white. <laughs> because most women that I tend to like, or I'm attracted to, they tend to be random where typically it's like one out of every... 500 will say, okay, I'm okay with the color of your skin, blah, 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 whatever. Pretty much all my life has been depressing, but I'm trying to keep my head up. Um, it's like I can't even go outside the fucking smoke without this belligerent-ass douchebag having something to say. I can't smoke inside because I get bitched at. Oh, you're hurting my eyes, my nose. I can't breathe. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. I'm coughing, I'm coughing, I'm sick. I go outside. Oh, I smell it, and I'm, it's coming through the vent. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I mean, what the fuck? I was told that I could smoke in the back hallway because the landlord said you could even use the light because he's paying the light bill. Okay. I smoke in the back hallway, I get bitched at for that. Smoke inside, I get bitched at for that. Smoke outside, I mean outside with the doors closed. I get bitched at for that. Oh, you walking around leaving my doors open. If nobody wants you, you ain't got shit. The only time the people even around our block paid attention is because the police car was outside. And everybody wanted to come be nosy, but the police took 40 fucking minutes to get here. So, I mean... At the end of the day, they, they got tired because it was cold as fuck. It is 24 degrees outside. All those black people that were trying to be nosy took their black asses in the house because it's cold as fuck. And while she was talking to the police dudes, I actually stood my ass outside. Because I want people to actually get the full on of her without Mr. Improvise. Mr. Improvise stayed his ass outside like, nope. I'm not helping. I'm not trying to reconcile. I'm not. 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 not, 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 not. And I mean, we gotta go through this shit tomorrow. We gotta go through this shit tomorrow. We go through this shit the next day, and the next day, and the next day, and the next day. Just get it in our fucking head. But yeah, my plans have pretty much been the same. My plans have always been escape from this bullshit and get the fuck out of here as soon as humanly as possible. Uh, that's pretty much what I'm going to do. I do not know what's going on with the Julianne situation. Pretty much, over the past few days, I have found out that it is no longer Julianne Diamond. It is Julianne Mick something. I'm not going to try to pronounce this guy's last name. I have been given an, a wealth of new data to try to comprehend. Pretty much, from what I've heard, she does a lot of things. Or she may say or type a lot of things, i.e. Facebook, MySpace, etc., etc., which quote-unquote aren't true. And she's saving face. Now, I could have swore, I could have swore I said something about saving face. I just knew it. Her smiles just look fake as fuck in some of her pictures. I'm like, dude, it's just not even real. Anybody with half a brain can see through that. But whatever, I mean, if a person really wants to be unhappy in life, then clearly douchebag is a prime example they're going to be unhappy and try and be everyone make everyone miserable with them as for julianne my situation is the truth pretty much i walked into some bullshit i 
contacted you via email to let you know that. I did not contact you via email to argue with you or start this big talk about Rebecca and blah, 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 blah. Just to say this shit simply, I reflect on my exes to convey specific points of what I want, what I don't want, what I like, what I don't like, blah, 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 blah. When most of my exes are spoken about, it is usually in a negative sense. It is typically never in a positive sense, unless it's just to say, that, oh, such and such may have cared about me, or such and such may have done insert random thing here. When I talk about Rebecca, it's not because, oh, I'm lovey-dovey, I want Rebecca back, blah, 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 blah. I know who I am as a person. I know what I can do. I've seen what I can do. I've made the impossible possible multiple times. The emergency loan to bail you out of your situation should indicate that I will do any and everything in my power to correct something or to fix something or to make sure that a person's happier or just to not deal with dumb shit. But clearly, this is something that you are not learning, my dear Julianne. My thing is, I don't want to argue with you. I don't want to fight with you. I don't want this back and forth bullshit. What I want from you is for you to make a fucking decision. For you to sit down and talk to me like a normal person. Or don't. You can choose to talk, stay, converse, be normal. Or you can choose to be this shell of a person who seemingly does nothing but lie, cheat, and deceive. You say you're a good person. You say you want chances to do this, do that. Da, 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 da. You have a clear chance to say, hey, okay, we can sit down and try and talk some of this shit out because just because I see your text via the internet don't mean shit to me. Because at the end of the day, you say one thing and do another. Especially when it comes to like writing something out. So I would prefer to see or hear. Like I said, my laptop's got a fucking battery in it, you goddamn idiot. Bullshit, it's not even plugged in, you ignorant fuckbag. Why don't you come on here and why don't you come here and unplug my laptop for me then? Yeah, bring your punk ass on in here and unplug the laptop that's not plugged in. I'm recording a fucking video, it don't require no goddamn internet, you fucking buffoon. Right, do something about it then, nigga, I'm right here, bring it, motherfucker. I'm about tired of your shit. Do something and shut the fuck up. Why well, didn't I have the police out here one night on your punk ass because you mad? You don't know shit. You think you know the law. You don't know a goddamn thing. That's why they walked up right up in this motherfucker and said, yeah, you want to do this, nigga? Take your bitch ass to court. Right. I'm going to just call their asses until they decide to lock your punk ass up. What, nigga? We going to get you a jail record, motherfucker. Yeah. Well, like I said, I, I, ain't, I ain't dealing with you. You can talk to your fucking self. But back to what I was saying. This is pretty much this shit. This is pretty much this shit that I get to deal with. This motherfucker gonna tell me I'm not gonna be on the internet. Bitch, you don't pay for my internet. Fuck you. I mean, what the fuck did she do? She bought food once in three months. So... When I need to eat, what happens? I don't eat here. She don't buy shit. When's the last time this motherfucker bought me something? 2009? Oh, wait, let me look at my calendar. It's 2012. What the fuck does this bitch do? Nothing. This bitch wanna come around and tell me I'm not gonna be on the internet. Bitch, please, if I'm gonna be on the internet all night, I'm gonna be on the internet all night. Fuck you. My shit's not plugged into your electric. I'm not. On the TV, I'm not on the PlayStation, the fucking stereo's not on, so fuck you. This is just what happens when a person becomes tired of the dumb shit. I mean, I don't say shit to her. I mean, she even told the police herself, he won't talk to me. Why the fuck do you think I won't talk to you? Because you're ignorant. This is the number one reason why I don't speak to you. Because you're fucking ignorant. Now maybe she heard that. Maybe she didn't. I don't really give a fuck. But back to what I was saying. Before I was rudely interrupted by this nothing ass douchebag. 
Julianne. All I want is to like talk like normal people because I can clearly access my father's temper at will. I don't choose to do that very often. I may do it towards her because this motherfucker doesn't fathom niceness. I mean, back in the day or back when I first decided to start school and shit, back pretty much back before this place was cemented. This motherfucker would write me letters talking all this dumb shit. And I would say one simple thing. All I want is peace. Pretty much the, the way that I've been. Leave me alone. Forget that I'm here. Don't say shit to me. Don't ask me for shit. And we're good. She, don't, she doesn't buy me shit. She doesn't clean up after me. She doesn't go to the store for me. She doesn't do my laundry. She doesn't pay for shit for me. Uh, once again, the, the one thing that she did was that cell phone. Once that cell phone died, like what? A, a good year or two ago, some shit like that. I don't even know. <laughs> Once the cell phone died, she technically does nothing for me. She pays her own fucking rent. She pays her own fucking electric. She pays her own fucking gas. I don't touch the fucking gas because it's always a fucking, oh, my house is cold. Blah, 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 blah. My house is hot. Blah, 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 blah. I mean, if I want the fucking house cold or hot, I just turn on the fan, turn off a fan, open a window, close the fucking window. I mean, it's not that fucking hard. But this idiot seems to believe that. Because I'm here, I'm the one consuming all the electric when she's here 24-7. We're not being nice this time. She leaves like what, once every fucking blue moon, if that. This whole I'm leaving every week bullshit. You don't leave every week. I'm not even giving you that estimate. You leave once every blue moon. So if she's here and I'm at school all day, I use a laptop. My laptop's typically not plugged into electric until it says like 0% or I'm about to save your shit. Because your shit's about to die. Otherwise, my laptop's not plugged into her fucking electric. Another thing that I don't have to hear a fucking mouth about. But apparently, there's uh, something else wrong. I mean, she doesn't realize that I record most of the shit. The only thing I forgot to record was when the policemen were fucking here. I should have just whipped it out like, hey, wave to the camera, motherfuckers. I know y'all got one on your dashboard. But yeah. Oh, I guess it's because it's 11 something at night. Oh, I'm keeping her up. Oh, I'm keeping her up. I'm keeping her up. What the fuck does she do? She has no life. She goes nowhere. She has no job. She doesn't work. She doesn't go to school. She has no fucking friends. The landlord, will you please take me downtown tomorrow so I can try to file these eviction papers, please? I hope you don't have a life or something that you need to be doing. Oh. <laughs> yes, I can antagonize people because... It's just up here to just know how to antagonize people. But my thing was, she was all willing, like, oh, you can finally come in the house. And I'm thinking to myself, why would I come in the house when I already called the fucking police? I want it on file. Let's get her a fucking record. Let's get her locked up. <laughs> I mean, when I was locked up when I was, what, 14? That was because I was stupid and I had no comprehension of the law. So maybe this is karma coming back around to say, hey, you go ahead and do that shit because I will be calling the fucking police shit. I will fucking walk down there to the whatchamacallit district like, hey, can you one of you guys extort me home in case this douchebag has the locks on the fucking door because I'm really not trying to deal with it. I mean, the, the police station is like what? It's right down 152nd. It's like down the street from us. They're like two minutes away and it takes them three minutes to get here. Different story. But yeah. Pretty much that's, this has been my day. This is my life. And I guess I maybe I should start showing these videos to like the teachers and shit. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give each teacher that I have a link to this video or my, my blog videos in general. They may have to excuse my language and understand that I'm a grown ass man. Grown ass man. Thus I can cuss and say fuck shit bitch all I want. But... Pretty much this is my life. I don't really cuss all that often unless it's just like typical bullshit. But it's just the simple fact of the matter that this is what I get to deal with. Pretty much the day was I wake up this morning, I get myself dressed, get myself out the door to school, I see that it's snow on the ground. This douchebag decides she wants to say, oh, you're supposed to be snow, blah, 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 and I don't even acknowledge her most of the time. She's like, oh, if you wait, I'd give you some money or this, I'd keep going. I don't even 
I don't even look back. It's just like, well, why would I want anything from you? Everything that comes from you comes with a fucking stipulation or price. She was like, oh, all you had to do was apologize and I'll give you this hundred bucks for your birthday. Didn't say a damn thing to her and kept walking. I wonder why that is. Why I give up with a fake apology for a measly hundred dollars? Doesn't seem to make logical sense to me. I'm tired of apologizing for shit that I haven't done. I'm tired of taking the blame for shit that I haven't done. Hint, hint, Julianne. Hint, hint. Oh, maybe I shouldn't hint. Maybe I should be straightforward. I've taken the blame or accepted blame or fault for a lot of fucking things that haven't been my fault. I.e. the whole, a lot of the arguing and bullshit and the I'm hurt. A lot of that shit's come from me taking the blame or fault for a lot of shit that's not my fault. The whole you saving face for Facebook and MySpace, you saying one thing and doing another. Me being a dumbass and wanting to just believe wholeheartedly and foolishly in everything that you say was me taking fault or blame for a lot of shit that I shouldn't have. Sometimes I'm too nice. I've already stated that when I care, I care way too much. If this isn't a prime fucking example, I don't know what is. Because I still say to myself, I should have stayed my ass in Florida. When she was calling me on cell phones, no, I don't have anyone to take care of me. Your brother wants absolutely nothing to do with me. I should have thought to myself, hmm, why is it that my brother, Mr. Sway, wants nothing to do with you, mate? Could it be that you're a jackass? That you're selfish? That you think the world revolves around you? Your electric bill, really? I could pay electric bill like five times over and you still wouldn't shut the fuck up about it. But apparently, I'm mean and I don't know how to talk to people. And I'm like bipolar and this, that. When the policeman started to speak in medical lingo to me, said that maybe she has a, a chemical influx and there are too many endorphins being released in this, that. And I'm like, okay, well, I don't know what to say about that because you can't really force someone to have a psychic, ev- um, um, uh, a psychological eval. I mean, I guess maybe you can if they're above a certain age, but she lies about her fucking age. I don't know how fucking old she is. Don't really give a shit. It's just some of the fact of the matter is that she acts like she's fucking 12. She acts like she acts like the kids that we're discussing in 2020. And I think to myself, how come these children seem more mature than my mom? It makes no sense. Oh, whatever. I guess that's all I have to really record in this video. This has been another shitty day. I didn't even eat my dinner. My dinner was five dollars or something in McDonald's. It was in my bag and it just sat there and it's pretty much just sitting here. I probably won't even eat it. I mean, mentally I'm tired. I mean, I don't say shit to her. If she would shut the fuck up and never ever 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 speak to me and just did her fucking thing, paid her fucking bills and just left me the fuck alone. Life would be easier, and I probably wouldn't still be here. Because I could easily land a fucking scholarship if I put my full fucking effort into this shit. But currently, I cannot do that. Because if it's not her, it's someone else. If it's not someone else, it's her. And if it's not her and someone else, and it's like three other someone else's. Plus, she would just randomly pop up and start bullshit. I mean, you see the motherfucker pop up to my door. I'm recording, by the way, while she's doing the dumb shit, so she, she should just, like, fathom the fact that if I'm talking, I'm probably recording something. So, yeah, if you guys got to hear her walk up to the door and play with the fucking door, because this, this fucking house is a piece of shit. I mean, I've already showcased that on the fucking webcam. Eventually, the little fucking slot latch is gonna come out the fucking door when we're playing with the shit. But, oh yeah, that's another thing. She tried to take the fucking screws back out the fucking lock. Apparently, she couldn't get one of them out. I mean, I, I honestly don't give a shit because there's nothing in here for her. 
been in the same sense. I can just go ahead and just put more screws in the fucking door and wood glue the bitches. Wood glue. Wood glue. She's not getting through that, but I'm really, I'm just not in the mood to deal with shit. It's midterms week. For someone who claims to have a college education, she surely doesn't fathom much about college at all. She thinks lockers are fucking free. She thinks that I'm like a fucking high school student or some shit. To where everything's fucking free and handed to me. I get free textbooks, free food, free fucking lockers and all that shit. Bitch, I'm not in high school. College is you pay for fucking everything. And you pay double for it. This fuckbag don't understand that. So, I mean, I guess that's all I have to say. Uh, I will post another video tomorrow to give some sort of insight on what the fuck, what the fuck. So, yeah. I guess I will try and look at this midterm for social. I mean, it doesn't really seem that hard from like a couple of questions, but the teacher wants elaborate um, responses to make sure you understand the material, so. I have to think of how to word that shit. I was going to do it tonight, but clearly it's 11-11 right now. And I was supposed to get started on this shit at like 7 or 8. Yeah, then I have to be up at like fucking 4 or 5 to get out of the fucking door in the morning. It's not one thing, it's a fucking another. But yeah, that's it. Deuces. Uh, and if you watch this video, Julianne, and you take anything in the wrong way, that is completely your fault. You should learn to try to put yourself in another person's shoes, emphasize, show some compassion, show some fucking feeling, some caring, because the world is not all about you, even though you want to be queen and all that wonderful stuff, blah, 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 blah. Things could be going a hell of a lot better. You could have you could have pretty much anything you want out of fucking life. You could have anything you want right this second, but you do so many things in so many ways that it just like, hey, wait, what? I mean, would you suggest that I put on a show for douchebag? I'm just asking this random question. I mean, if you aren't happy with something, put forth the initiative to fix it. If you don't like your life, if you don't like what's going on right now, if you don't like the situations that you're in, Take it upon yourself to do something about it because no one's going to do something about it except for you. My situation is a prime fucking example. Because if it were up to her, I would still be walking in a store for her, playing video games, and being on the internet. I wouldn't be in school because she tried to prevent me from being in school by keeping my ID and social security card. That's the kind of person she is. She'd rather see me fail than succeed. And the fact that I'm in fucking school trying to make something of myself while she sits at home and does absolutely nothing day in, day out does not symbolize to her that, hey, maybe I should leave him the fuck alone because he's not bothering me. Sure, he may come home and he may do random shit that's really not that big of a fucking deal. But at the end of the day, he's trying to better himself. So that maybe, well, maybe once we can have a fucking stove in the house. So maybe for once in our life, we can have a real stove that is owned. We can bake stuff. We can have a call. We can have a washer and dryer. I mean, she's clearly not going to get these things her fucking self because she, she won't even put her new microwave in the fucking kitchen. I mean, it shows you how fucking selfish she is. My microwave is just sitting there pretty much. I only used it to show that it fucking worked. It just sits there because it was meant for my apartment. But you can just see what kind of person she is. We have no fucking stove. We have no fucking washer. We have no dryer. We have no car. And she is okay with this life. I'm not. I'm sick of the fucking bus. Fuck walking the bus in fucking snow. This motherfucker calls a cab home from Walmart, steal yard commons, and comes all the way out to 164 in St. Clair. And this has always cost me like $30, $40 in the cab to get home. When you ignorant fuck bag, there's a store right there on the 152nd. You spend $75 per month, and they will bring you home. But instead of spending that $74 there, she won't go there because she doesn't walk the way it smells. This is the logic of the superior person. Wait, what? She's superior? No, it's a fucking joke. Deuce.